Okay, one of the new baits that just arrived at Tackle not too long ago uh, is the Jackal Bling 55. And this is a bait that I've seen at ICAST that I was real excited about. Um, and since then, I mean, I've, I've won a lot of money on this bait. I've caught some really big fish uh, here locally as well as at Clear Lake. And I mean, it's just, it's, it's an awesome bait for a little tiny crankbait. One of the key features I like about it is the size of it and the weight of it. You're gonna think you can't cast this thing. This here is the Tackle Warehouse exclusive PAL square bill crankbait rod. I'm throwing 17 pound, 100% trilene fluorocarbon. And I mean, I can throw this thing as far as I want to. Because of the unique weight transfer system that it has, it enables you to, to fish heavier line, throw at greater distances, and I mean, you can cover a lot of water. This thing, um, at Clear Lake, I was bouncing it off docks, you know, uh, fishing it around the grass. When I hit grass, I just ripped it. And because of this little fiberglass bill that it has, it has on it, it really deflects off things, I mean, in, insane. And, you know, because of the, also because of the way the bill is shaped, it comes right through the grass. As soon as you snap your rod tip, that's why I like using a, a faster rod tip so I can really free that bait from the grass or whatever I might be fishing. Um, you know, and the, the other thing I like about it is the little rattles it has in it. It almost sounds kind of like a TN70 um, rattling type bait, but, uh, you know, so far I've, I've got nothing but great things to say about it. It's put a lot of fish in my boat. Another one on the Super Shed. Not the biggest, not what I'm really looking for, but still it's, you know, get enough bites in here and you're going to get the right one. Super Shad. Okay, we just fished all the way back around this creek, caught a couple fish, not really the size I'm looking for, but we're out here next to the main body again and we got a real steep bluff leading back into this creek and it's a perfect opportunity to throw this new bait by Jackal called the Soul Shad. Alright. Well, you know, at, at ICAST earlier this year, the guys from Jackal showed me this new bait, which is, you know, the Soul Shad, and immediately I was wanting to fish it. And um, fortunately, I, I'm kind of ahead of the game. I've got, got a few um, baits straight from Japan, and I've had a lot of gr great success with it so far. This bait can be fished a couple different ways. Um, you know, the first, the traditional kind of like a jerk bait. Um, it has a large bill, so especially here in the winter time, like we're, we're in this lake right now, and it's 50 degree water temperature, you know, late winter, the fish are kind of congregated and they're on these steep bluffs. And basically what they're doing is they're pushing shad onto these bluffs and, and eating them. So, you know, a jerk bait is highly effective in winter time. The only thing you really gotta pay attention to is the cadence. Sometimes, I mean, you gotta let that bait sit there for matter of you know 30 40 50 seconds sometimes and what's awesome about this bait is it per it'll suspend down there without having to add suspend dots or suspend strips and um, you know for a small bait the other problem a lot of guys run into is the castability of it and um, basically the uh, the weight transfer system on this bait allows you to to whip this bait out there make really long casts and fish it you know um, I've also caught a few fish in Northern California just on a straight retrieve, you know, fishing basically like a crankbait. And it, it runs true straight out of the box. You don't have to mess around and, and tune the bait. Um, you know, this color here is probably my favorite in the Soul Shad. It's the SG Thread Finish Shad. And, you know, I've caught a lot of nice fish on it, especially spotted bass. It's kind of got that chrome chartreuse stripe looking type of shad. So. Um, the gear I like throwing this bait on so far is a 726 Endurance Pow Rod. It just came out. It's, it's a great rod. It, you know, as soon as I started throwing it on this, I figured that it had the right kind of action, meaning that if I'm using it as a jerk bait, the tip really makes that bait pop. And then, you know, if I do, do get bit on long cast or whatever, it's got the backbone to really get those fish, you know, going towards the boat. Um, I like throwing this bait on either eight or 10 pound fluorocarbon. The reason I like fluorocarbon because it makes that, it keeps that bait down there. I don't want monofilament pulling the bait up. So, you know, with that kind of gear, you're gonna find yourself catching some fish, you know, all throughout the year. Winter time, I can't wait to throw it pre-spawn. Um, you know, it's gonna be a really, 
fish producing bait this year. Oh. That fish was out there suspended, eating on the, you know, pushing those bait up on the wall, just like we talked about. It's a nice fish. It's the best spot we've caught all day. Soul Shad, brand new bait. All right, well, we fished it hard all day, you know, tried a variety of baits. Caught some on the Mega Structure Jig, caught some drop shot, and caught some on a tube. Cranked a few, uh, caught one on the Soul Shad. I mean, just kind of mixed it up all day, you know, tried a variety of depths, variety of techniques. And that's sometimes what you got to do in the winter until you really get them dialed in. You know, I haven't been up to this lake in a while and, and uh, still fun to catch a lot of spots. You know, um, in a tournament, I might have done things a little different, maybe chased larger fish more, you know, through more reaction baits, more of a big jig type thing. But overall, it was a good day. Um, check back in next week's vlog and, and we'll talk to you soon.